some teammates said after the game um, that Nicola needs to be more aggressive um, going forward. Is that anything as a veteran you talk to him uh, about or anything like that? Um, yeah, you know, but, you know he, he, he's a good player. So, I mean, whatever he feels, you know, I'm behind him. You know, if he, if he feels like his shot's not on, or if he feels like he ain't getting good shots, he's not getting good shots or his shot's not on. You know, I think you just go off the play or the feel of the um, of that guy, you know, especially a guy like Joe Gilgit, you know, uh, who knows the game so well, um, based off of rhythm, making the right plays. Um, and I respect whatever decision he makes. You spoke to him last year about just kind of that he's the system here, but no no need to do that, to do that again. He'll pull out of it. He'll pull out of it. I mean, you know, I, it's basketball, you know, and basketball is a rhythm game. And uh, sometimes you just don't have a good rhythm. You don't, they don't feel right. So um, he'll get it back. You know, he's a super talented guy. Um, I'm not concerned about it. You know, I'm sure none of the team is concerned about it. Well, how difficult is it when the offense is accustomed to flowing through him and then it just isn't there? Is that difficult to adjust to? Um, a little bit. You know, other guys are going to be aggressive. Um, you know, he's still getting his assists. He's still getting everybody involved. You know, so uh, whether he shoots the ball or not, you know, he's still putting an impact on the game big time. So um, we want him to shoot it because he, he makes a lot of shots. Um, but like I said, you know, I got his back. At, you know, whatever he's feeling. You guys obviously started six and on home. Now have three more home games in the next five days. What 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 do you kind of view this opportunity to really kind of? Um, we, we know how good we are at home, you know, so especially when you're at home, you just got to take advantage of it. Take advantage of it, get as many wins as you can, um, hopefully get them all, and um, get some confidence going back on the road. What, what stands out going up against the Nets? Just got a Um, coach, you know, uh, <laughs> Coach Kenny, man, he's a great guy, you know, I played with him, played for him, you know, in Atlanta. So, um, I know a couple of guy he is, what type of coach he is, and, um, He's a, he's a big time motivator, you know, so he's got his guys ready to play every single night. Uh, we know they're going to play hard. Uh, we know they're going to shoot a lot of threes because that's what he likes to do. Um, so protecting the three point line and uh, matching their intensity for sure. Paul, there's been a lot of sellouts this year for the first six games. Are you right. feeling that when you're on the court? Ah, uh, yeah, you can feel it and hear it, man. You know, it's it's a big difference. You know, I, I think the, the spirit of of basketball in this town has really um, evolved and. Um, it's up to us to get out there and continue to perform for him. What's been your thought on, on, on Juancho Hernan Gomez and the, the the boost that he's provided off the bench here in the last, you know, really kind of two weeks? It's been a really solid stretch for him. Yeah, he's been great. You know, um, not just just when he gets on the court. You know, he, he's great when he's not even in the games. You know, when he's not playing, he, he's always positive. He's always rooting guys on, cheering guys on. Um, yeah, he's a great teammate, man. You know, I love having him on this team. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.